We'll move on and a 19th century wooden sailing yacht is being rebuilt under the arches of a Cornish railway bridge. When Marigold, isn't that a lovely name, made her maiden voyage in 1892, William Gladstone was Prime Minister and Germany had a Kaiser. Well, the years have taken their toll, but now a wealthy businessman is financing the cutter's restoration. She's a shadow of her former self, but a hundred years ago, it was a different story. In Victorian times, Marigold was a majestic, a gentleman's yacht of bronze, teak and oak. The early 30s, film actor Niven was among the well-to-do crew who hoisted her billowing sills. When her saviour Greg Powsland first laid eyes on her, she was a sorry state, stripped of her dignity and left to rot, half submerged in White Creek. The boat had to be moved because the property that was going to develop the site. And in fact, uh, shortly afterwards, he threatened to bulldoze the boat into the mud if it wasn't moved, so the previous owner had to sell. And I decided that she was too good to waste. Marigold was transported here to Salt Ash, where she's rested high and dry in the shadow of Forda Viaduct for the past eight years. I couldn't find a sponsor to take her on. And I got involved in building this building, 17th century building, and eventually decided that I wasn't going to find the money. And a friend of mine suggested putting it into auction. She sold for a surprising £34,000, five times the estimated price, to a millionaire businessman from Bermuda. I thought it would be a lovely thing to be able to have a, an old wooden boat. Uh, I've always had, my grandfather was a great sailor and he always had old boats. And I've always got, I've got lots of half models of old boats and there are fewer and fewer of them. In fact, there's, there's no boat at all left that, of this type. When the work of these shipwrights is done, Marigold will have regained her old weight of 30 tonnes. These bare ribs will be covered by 20 planks sawn from the giant paduk tree imported from Africa. Cabinet makers will fit her insides out, but not an original timber will remain. Some plans, not many, have, have come forward from the time that she was built. And there's a wonderful set of photographs which you'll see, which Mr. Powsland has very carefully nurtured and came forward when he bought the boat and he's retained those. And from those photographs, even the detail, details of the fittings below and on deck can all be very clearly seen. Marigold has undoubtedly earned a place in the sun. So when she's relaunched in 1992, her centenary year, will she be Bermuda bound? An awful lot of old boats have found their way off to Caribbean and places like that. They rot in the hot sun, they're not looked after properly, yeah. and uh, it's a graveyard for wooden boats down there, and you can see quite a lot. So anyway, she'll be kept here, around in England.